At a young age, it made me realize there were things in the music industry that I didn't want to do. That there were parts of it where I was like, this guy has been doing this for 40 years and he can't pay the rent. It made me think, I need to get more serious about this. If I want to do this as a career, I need to get better at playing music. My last year of university, we released our first album. It was actually surprising to me that the three of them kind of got back together as their own entity, you know? We don't really talk about it that much in the sense like, this is going to be our sound and we're going to you know, do this, we're going to plan it out. It's more organic as far as in the playing, this is how it comes out. There's intense periods of creativity where we get together and it's arranging tunes, coming up with tunes. I thought it was good. I thought there were a few little places that I wrote down a few things, but... Like, I thought the intro was a bit sloppy. And I thought the outro, there's a bit of movement, but if you and I can hook up with the drums, it will, it will maybe pass. <laughs> it's difficult when Shannon lives in Edmonton and we're in Montreal. It's definitely slower to get things done that way. Because we're not in the same city, it takes up more time. Since we all have separate lives, you know, you have to figure out if the timing is going to work for everybody. I do a lot of gigs with the quartet. I really enjoy playing with them. I grew up playing classical music and I played in the youth orchestra and with the university orchestra. Same instrument, but it's just a completely different style, different focus, different, different headspace. It's really fun to play with somebody where you're not actually the center of anything. I guess my responsibilities are less. I don't have to think very much about it. I don't I just go and have a good time. Yeah. Why Montreal? Why Montreal? Well, um, you know, I came here to go to university, same as my brother, and I've just fallen in love with the city and fallen in love with the girl. Pretty good for the camera, Isla. Allison and I met because she put up an ad for a bass player on a poster. But she had this, these guitars and it said Blue Country on it. And I thought, oh, Blue Country, what, what's that? That's cool. I want to know what Blue Country is. And so I, I responded and now we have a baby. She wasn't super healthy when she was born. She was uh, in the intensive care unit for a week and was four pounds and something. So that was really intense as an experience and uh, emotional and kind of crazy. 
I was also offered a full-time job in, in Ottawa with the government. It was like a real struggle for me. I didn't know what to do. And I thought, fuck, maybe I should do that because I'm having a baby, you know? And, and I've never applied for a job. I've never had a job. And uh, I applied, got my hair cut, and I bought shoes, which I returned after. <laughs> you know, I, I bought, like, nice shoes. And then uh, rented a car and went out there, and they fucking offered me the job, the freaks. So you didn't take the job? No, I said no. <laughs> yeah, no, it just didn't feel right. I, I haven't really re ever regretted that. I just didn't feel... At that moment, it didn't feel right. You know? Like, I write a lot of music at home, but sometimes you're writing something and you realize, like, even if you're thinking about trying to write music for the McDades, it's coming out as something that just is not working for them, but you like what it is. I've got some other side projects, more of an acoustic kind of song album that I've, that I've been working on for a couple of years that has been brewing. It's a tough balance to do the stuff that musically, from a musician perspective, playing it, it is challenging and we like to play music that challenges us. You have to balance that with music that people will enjoy and uh, relate to. Because we do like to, I don't know, play the shit out of our instruments. <laughs> I think with the boys in Montreal inspired them. Just the city itself and the uh, place is lousy with musicians. All right, where'd you put the keys, Yvonne? <laughs> you heard about the drummer that locked his keys in his car, didn't you? No. Took him three hours to get the bass player out. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, it's situation normal. Uh, <laughs> fly in, have a quick bite to eat, and we'll go to rehearsal. Then uh, Bucky, the drummer, is flying in on Thursday yeah. in time for sound check. We do a whole variety of shows, oh, but then go. he has his career that he, he's built in Edmonton and he slots us in as often as possible. It's just this time of year that we have a chance to come back and play with him. Uh-oh, here comes Solon. <laughs> hey, great to see ya. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guy. Oh. Hey, our new friend. Hey, great to see you, too. Oh, yeah, welcome, welcome, yeah. Can I carry that, and then you get your... Gifts number one. Um, we're, uh... Real Dutch tulips. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Thank you. <laughs> Dad, this is for you. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. A friend of mine from Japan made me these. Shakuhachi's. Come on, I'll show you. Um, your quarters. Okay, Vinny avec moi. Yeah, cool. Okay. Then here we have the, uh, when I'm not teaching, feel free to this, your toy box, okay? So we have the guitars and basses. This one you might like to play with. Yeah. It's a bender. A, a bender? Yeah, a Parsons bender. I never saw it. Yeah, yeah. New Clarence, Clarence White, Gene Parsons from the Birds. Okay. Gene Parsons made this. It's to make a guitar sound like a steel guitar. Okay. 
Life goes on, you get more stuff. Yeah, 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 sure. He's got so much energy that it really inspires us. When we're tired and sometimes traveling especially, you can come back and kind of feel slow. But then as soon as you talk to him, he's always happy and it's all fun, it's all good. He's a real believer that if you are honest about your art, you'll have success. Hi. I got from that music. Wrote a new song. Fantastic. Yeah. Bring the lever down right here. Da. Bring the lever down. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Why don't you play something else for us? Your pick. Or do you, how about we try, remember your improv when you make stuff up? Would you feel like doing that today? Just improvise. Just play anything that comes into your head. Okay. You're growing up and people like, oh, you're Terry McDade's daughter. I've taken guitar lessons from Terry. They've been doing it forever. Our kids grew up with it. They've always had the studio and all this music for six, eight hours a day. If it's meant to be, well, you get home and some music from 3, 3.30 until 10 o'clock at night, music coming from the basement. He works harder too than like most people I know. He works really hard and uh, I, uh, I really admire that. I'm amazed at it. lessons from our dad yeah, exactly. but we learn all these other things from him that are about being a musician more than about playing your instrument he is a great lover of music and I think that he inspires people to love music and some kids do really well and they improve and they get better and better and better and they become famous guitar players and some of his students are famous guitar players oh there they go oh yeah this is good <laughs> Great stuff, eh? Yeah, yeah. There he is, and with one of my students. Uh, he took lessons from you for how long? Um, he was about eleven till he was finished grade twelve. Wow. You know. Where are we going? We're going to the airport. Got to pick up Bucky. I'm going to play guitar at the John Walter this year. I know the dad get chords. Don't worry. <laughs> I understand the, the theory of it. <laughs> hey, theoretically, theoretically, this should sound great, by the way, guys. <laughs> kind of nebulous thing that you strive for. It's kind of a combination, I suppose, of artistic excellence and then the security and financial well-being that goes along with it. Our whole family, that's kind of where we've been at, that is music first, trying to get to be a real good player and then going from there. 